Hey guys, welcome to Technology. This is Roshan Man. In this video, we are going to understand the concept of sequential circuits. Okay, and also I will tell you the uh, different types of tricks by which we can remember the excitation table, characteristic equation, truth table for uh, various flip flop, SR, D, D flip flop, T flip flop, and JK flip flop. Okay. Before starting the video, I will request you all to please join our Telegram group. That is Strota for EC. Many students are preparing there. Around 500 students are there. That, uh, those who are preparing with me for our ISRO various center exams. Okay. Also the daily quiz are conducting at uh, 7 p.m. And also we have launched our, uh, launched our test series, online test series, India first online test series uh, for ISRO exam. And uh, the registration will start from 28th of April. So please join it to get quality, around 1800 plus quality questions. Okay. So let's start the video. First, in a sequential circuit, what is the sequential circuit? Sequential circuit are those circuits in which the present output not only depends upon the present input, but also depends upon the past output. That is, it is a memory. It has memory. Sequential circuit contains memory compared to a combination circuit. Combination circuits are those circuits in which they are made up of logic gates. They are made up of logic gates, but they don't have memory also. But if in a combination circuit we add memory then it will be a sequential circuit because it contains memory okay clock signal is provided positive feedback is provided from the output that is the output is depend upon the present state as well as the previous output the past output okay these are known as sequential circuit what we will cover in the sequential circuit first is the truth table in truth table we will cover uh, truth table characteristic equation excitation table or transition table flip flop in which sr jk D and T flip flop. We will cover this after this binary shift tradition. Uh, that is CPO, CSO, PPO, SISO, PIPO, like these. Okay, these type of registers we will cover. Okay, and the last is counters. I have not seen. Uh, I have not seen counters in detail in your uh, in your slow question paper. But we will see some questions related to this. Okay, or and also we have uh, we have done questions in our quizzes related to sequential circuit therefore in this i'm only going to tell you the concepts of sequential circuits okay first first is sr flip flop sr flip flop is like this okay this is a latch okay this is known as a latch okay when in a latch we provide a clock signal then it becomes a flip flop clock signal is the clock signal works like when we want to trigger the flip flop the time at which we want to trigger the flip flip flop okay this work is done by the our clock signal okay this is our characteristic table or truth table okay truth table at zero zero there will be no change that is if the output is one then the output if the previous output is one then the next next output will also remain as one if the zero if the previous output is zero then the next output will also remain as zero that is the operation is no change if zero one then it will reset that is all the value will get zero if one zero then it will set that is all the value will get when the output will get to one 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 is a don't care state that is the value here the q here the q and q bar both are equal that's why this is a don't care state that is it is not possible okay second the Characteristic equation is given by S plus Q R by for a SR flip flop. Remember this S plus Q R bar is a characteristic equation. Third is the excitation table. Excitation table. Many students have asked me, sir, how to remember this excitation table. First of all, draw this 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Then write X here X. Then 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. This is how you can remember the, remember the excitation table for sr flip flop that is like this x x 0 1 0 0 1 0 this is how you can remember this excitation table okay now next we will go to our jk flip flop jk flip flop in this there is one problem that is the race around condition you have seen this i have also given question related to this race around condition in our quizzes race around condition is that when when 1 1 occurs in jk flip flop when 1 1 occurs in jk flip flop then there is a condition known as toggle condition okay that is our output toggles between 0 and 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 it, the output toggles between this only we will get a complement output every time in each and every time this is known as toggle condition and this is also known as the race around condition 
ओके आई विल टेल यू हाउ वी कैन रिमूव दिस रेस अराउंड कंडीशन इन जेके फिफ्थ लॉ आफ्टर आफ्टर दी टू थ्री स्लाइड ओके When zero zero is there, then there will be no change. Zero one reset condition. One zero is set condition. This is the truth table of J K flip flop. Now characteristic equation is given by J Q bar plus K bar Q. This is the characteristic equation for flip flop. As a J K flip flop. These these characteristic equation you should remember because they can come as a M C Q multiple choice question in our SOE exam like B S C and H S C. Okay. Now how to remember the, remember the excitation table for this. JK flow. Now write double x double x zero one one zero. Simply, you can learn by this technique. Double x double x zero one one zero. Okay. This is how you can remember the excitation table of the JK flip flop. Okay. Now next is our D flip flop. In D flip flop, we always get the we always get the same output. If the input is given as Q. If the input is given as zero, then the output will also zero. If the input is given as one, then the output will also one. Okay, this is the characteristic table. That is D. If the D is zero, then output is also zero. As the reset condition, if D is one, then the output is also one. That is the set condition. What is the characteristic equation? Characteristic equation is equal to D because we are getting the same output. Now, how we can remember? This is simple. If zero, if zero is the input, output will be zero. And the zero, if one is the input, and one will be the output. This is simple excitation table. One can remember for this. Okay. Now we will come to our T flip flop. Okay. Toggle flip flop. Okay. What is it? In this, this T is the toggle pin. Okay. This is the input, and this is the inverted inverted output. That is Q bar. Okay. This is the symbol of T flip flop. If zero is provided in the input, then you will get one. If one is provided in the input, you will get zero. This is known as toggle condition. Okay. You will always get the complement output. Of the input, okay. Therefore, the characteristic equation is here given as the T X or T X or Q. That is T bar Q plus Q T bar. This is the characteristic equation for T flip flop. What will be the excitation table? This is a simply a truth table of X or Y. Zero double one zero is the excitation table for T flip flop. Same as X or Y truth table. Okay, this is how you can remember the excitation table, characteristic equation, and the truth table for various flip flop like S R J K T and D flip flop. Okay, now we will come how we can remember the race around condition J K flip flop. This is not in your uh, in detail in your syllabus, but only you have to remember how you can remove this problem. First, you can remove this. First of all, we have to read this when race around problem occurs. When J is equal to one and K equal to one, and clock pulse is applied. Because it is not a latch, we have to apply a clock pulse. We get the toggle condition that is zero one zero one. We also always get the complement output. But the output occurs time if the input clock pulse is in on state, then the toggle will be repeated for the same clock pulse. Okay, this is known as race around problem. How we can remove? First, you can reduce the pulse width of the clock. By using the edge triggering or by using the master slave J K flip flop, this is not in your syllabus. Okay. Now, next, what are binary shift registers? Binary shift registers are used for temporary data storage. Okay. These are only used for temporary data data storage. It provides time delay to the system. Okay. Also, this formula on this formula you have seen maximum questions in your ISRO various in in your ISRO previous year paper. Previous year papers. So please analyze your previous year papers because they these papers are very very important because it will build up your confidence. Okay. So I would request all of you to before going to your exam revise your previous year paper around two times so that e you can't miss each and every question of your previous year because it will you build your confidence how you can attempt the question. Okay. You will know the strategy what. Which type of question can uh, can come in the exam, etc. Okay. Now they can be used for arithmetic operations. Okay. They can be used for data conversion. Also, they are used in the designing of counters. Okay. Now there are four types of registers. One is the CISO. That is this. That is serial in, serial out. Serial in, serial out means we are and the data is entering in the shift register as serially, serially in, and the serially out. Okay. Now C is serial in parallel out, P is parallel in parallel out, and P so is parallel in serial out. When we are using serial in serial out register, then n clock pulses is required to insert the data, 
and output is taken by n minus 1 okay then in cpo n clockwise n clockwise is required and the parallel data is parallelly taken then no clockwise is required that is zero okay second pipo parallel in parallel out one clockwise is required and output is taken by zero p so one clockwise is required and output is taken by n minus 1 okay simply you have to remember this table because this can come in the exam therefore i have given this in short for you okay if you have any problem related to this binary shift register you can ask me in our telegram group or in the youtube comment section so that i can help you more in this okay next is what is counter counter i have not seen much detail in this question any type of theoretical question i have not seen any type of theoretical question in this i have seen this type of questions only like this say let's say like they have taken three d flip flops connected with each other okay and we have uh, we have given clock pulse to each flip flop okay now you are seeing this that this y1 out output of this d flip flop is going towards xor and this y0 is going towards xor okay and this is going toward t okay now they are saying y2 y1 y0 y2 y1 y0 this is 0 0 1 okay now they are saying after three clock cycle now when we are applying first clock cycle this zero one this zero one will be going to exhaust this will be zero one is one and this will shift further one zero zero then zero zero is zero this will shift further when one zero is one this will shift further one zero one after three clock we will get the output at one zero one therefore option b is the correct answer these are the questions which are based upon counters I have taken from the previous year. This is the previous year VSSC 2019 question. Also, I have solved in when I have taken the series of VSSC solved paper. You have also seen there also. Okay, these, these, this is the thing that only that much is related to sequential circuits. Okay, if you have any doubt regarding sequential circuits, this is only the concept revision in, in a very short time so that you can remember this till your exam only five to in five to six minutes I have revised the sequential circuit. The basic things you have to remember that is the truth table, excitation table, characteristic equations and uh, what are the binary shift register, uh, they provide time delay, they, what is the, uh, they are used in data conversion etc etc and also we have seen the questions related to counter which can come in this exam okay so if you like the video please share the video as much as possible and also don't forget to subscribe the channel that is very important because because then only you can get further updates for the exams okay so all the very best